Hi everyone, I'm Coach Tony Morgan and today's video is going to be a real special one because it's going to be talking about unsafe situations and I'm going to be looking at two scenarios in this situation. The first one is going to be unsafe situations when it comes on to builders and the second one is going to be unsafe situations using people skills. So we're going to be looking at two set scenarios and they're hopefully going to find this really, really interesting. I've seen this situation twice now. Now what it is, builders, they're not aware of the dangers when it comes on to the flues from gas boilers. Doing, that's when they're doing the building work or extensions. And because they're not aware of the dangers, the customers, they're not aware of the dangers neither. So it makes it really, really alarming this situation because when you see this video what I'm going to show you you'll be alarmed as well. Now if you're doing building work and it involves a gas boiler you need to do proper planning and that means you need to call a gas safe registered engineer who's experienced in installation work and plan it out with him and then the job will be safe. It's common sense. Now for the second scenario now this is about unsafe situations using people skills. In the video what you're about to see, the customer, I was dealing with this customer, she was totally, totally unaware of the dangers that she was in, including herself and the two young children, because they could have been killed in this particular situation. She wanted me to put the boiler on in the state what it was in. And as I said, it was no way was that boiler going on she wasn't aware of the dangers what she was putting herself in she said it's been like for two weeks so the builders done the work and left it in this state for two weeks so obviously she had a fault she called me out and I come to see the boiler thinking I'm just gonna repair it in a normal way like you would do and then I seen what I seen and you're gonna see what I seen as well now, as I said, using people skills, this was a great asset which I have and I used to persuade the customer that the boiler has to be cut off and it's for own safety. But she was against what I was saying. So, as I said, I used my skills and what I did, I had to connect with this woman to show her these three important points what would register in her mind. And the first thing, she's going to think, can I trust you? She's also going to think, are you good at what you do? And the third thing, she's going to think, do you care about me? These are the three qualities what all customers think when they're making a decision. Especially you're giving them advice and trusting what you're saying. They're the three key elements of any decision making process. Anyway, I'll just explain what happened. So as I said, I went out to the job thinking going to repair the boiler. When I seen what I seen, I explained to her that there's no way this boiler's going on. It's too dangerous the way it is. So I checked outside. I looked obviously inside at the boiler. Initially, I actually forgot to say, when I looked at the boiler, I just looked at the boiler itself. I didn't look up at the flue. I was like, dude, just looking at the boiler. It's only when I stood back and I realized this gigantic hole in the wall. And I said, who's done that? She said, it's a builder. So I said, there's no way this boiler's going on. I goes outside, I seen building work taking place, the flume and a big gigantic hole in the wall and I explained the situation. It's dangerous, it cannot go on this boiler. But yet she wanted me to put it back on. She said, can't you just fix it? It's been like that for two weeks. Just do what you need to do. I said, no. I'm going to have to cut it off. It means cutting it off from the gas supply because its body cannot be used. It needs moving. And once the work's done, moved it, and then you can put the bar back on. She said, it's going to take weeks because I'm not ready. I've not planned it. We don't know where I'm going to put the boiler. But as I said, it needs proper planning. You should have done all this before this work was done. Anyway, I said to her, I'm going to have to cut it off, but she didn't want me to. 
I've written that warning notice, got to sign it. She's saying, she's signing that. I'm not giving her permission to turn it off. Now, I had a decision to make. I didn't want to fall out with the customer because with, you know, I want the business of potentially moving that boiler in the future. So I had to decide and think, what am I going to do? So this is what I did. As I work for myself, and in this particular situation, I wanted to make something bigger than myself in a company size that was ringing head office. So really I was ringing gas safe. So I rang gas safe just to get advice on the situation. Also to let the customer know I'm ringing head office. So I did that phone call and gas safe said, if the customer won't give you permission, call, um, it's the 0800 111 So I rang that. No, I didn't. I threatened to ring that. That's what I said. So I said, I'm going to have to ring this number. And if you don't let me cut the boiler off, we will have to cut your supply off to your house and have no gas to your house. So what do you want to do? Do you want to have no gas at your house? Or let me cut the boiler off and make that safe. The decision is yours. So that's what I did. So she went for the best option and let me cut the boiler off. I did that. She said, thank you. She said, can you give me a prize for moving the boiler? So basically, it was a win-win. I didn't lose the potential business of the boiler to be moved and I kept in a good books on doing what I had to do to do the right thing and being a gas safe engineer. So that's a people skills element <clears throat> of this situation. So this is what you have to do when you face this situation too. Being called out to this boiler, it had a fault on it. I think it was an E133. So on my investigation, I found this. Well, this is what I first found. This nice hole in a wall, as you can see. Then I looked outside and I seen this. Now, I'd like to hear some nice comments about this one. Anyway, what I did, I told a customer, this is wickedly, wickedly dangerous, immediately dangerous, and it's got to be turned off. So, um, it's been like this for two weeks, apparently. The builder's been doing some work and I left it like this. Very, very dangerous. Anyway, I've disconnected it and um, turned the gas off, cut it off from the supply. It's now safe. So there you go. It's been disconnected from the gas and made safe. So we're going to get the boiler moved, obviously, as soon as possible and put it in a safe position. Well, that was quite alarming, how builders can put their customers in danger. Anyway, if you're an existing engineer and you find yourself in an unsafe situation, there's a document called an iGEM document which GasSafe has introduced. And you can get a copy of this by downloading the link below this video. If you look down there, you can download it. If you're not a member, of our website you can just do a free members membership registration just fill in your details and you can download the document from our resource page now if you're a new engineer and you're looking for training you need information about getting into the game and learning then we've got a new great product for you coming up soon it's our new online body repair learning course so Watch out for that, I'll keep you informed. You can, again, click on the link below, sign up for our re free registration, and we'll keep you updated when that is out. So it'll be coming out real soon. So that's gonna be it for me on this particular video. If you like what you've seen, if you give it a thumbs up, share it with your contacts out there, because I like to do my best for people out there, helping them keep informed in what's going on. So that's it from me and I'll see you on the next video.